Okay, so let's see. What are we doing? So we're talking about the Fancy Smanchy PlayStation 5 event. Yay, PlayStation 5 was revealed. Shocking. Like it's, it exists. We know PS6 is around the corner six, seven years from now or whatever. <laughs> Listen, I'm still waiting for the PS9. I want to see that, uh, that yeah. technology. All right, let's get this show on the road. All right. Hello, ladies and gentlemen. This is Steve from the 8BG with my co-host Sterling. Hi. And this is the 8BG cast. Yay. Thank you for joining us today. And I uh, just want to say, please like, subscribe, shouldn't, shouldn't, comment, shouldn't, share. Shouldn't you say that after? Do everything. Isn't that like later? I want to say it now. I want to let them know now. That's, I need, we need those. I don't even know if they like it. <laughs> anyway, go. Eh, they'll know. No, they, they but, won't. Uh, they have to listen first. All right. Still like it. And if you don't listen, unlike it. How about that? Great compromise. So today was Sony's live presentation of the PS5. And they showed quite a lot, I must say. It was long. Uh, it was longer than I anticipated. Like, I feel like comparing it to Xbox's event, I feel like Xbox had just mostly talking and then they showed like maybe like a, maybe 10 games or so, if I remember correctly. But this one I felt like showed a lot. I didn't keep count of how many games they showed, but it felt like a lot. But um, it was it was it was good. I feel like they showed a mixture of games, you know, um, for I guess for like what you call the quote unquote hardcore. I don't know if they still use that term anymore for um, gamers. And then you had a lot of like you know nice family style games. Um, some of them look interesting. Some of them, you know, was all right. I will say though that. Personally, I feel like every time I see a racing, uh, when they show the Gran Turismo, um, anytime they show racing games in these types of uh, events, I always kind of like, you know, glaze over because I'm just like, I feel like there's nothing m more that can be offered in a racing game, at least in my opinion. I don't play them a lot, but just visually and seeing so what they have. you're saying as a person who doesn't play the games, you don't, you don't think they could offer anything more? No, no, I'm saying visually, like, you know, when you see them, you, you just, you know, it just, you know, they, they, don't, even, they don't leave an impression on me because there's really nothing, it's cars driving, you know what I mean? You're going to so, upset all the driving fans that listen to it. I, I, I definitely know that, but I'm not talking about gameplay-wise. I'm sure there might be a lot of differences and, you know, might be a couple of things, but just in terms of a trailer, I think that they're probably, they're always the least interesting parts of the show. But um, I will start off with games that I didn't, they I was impressed pretty, with. Though. They look really pretty. And, oh, they! I think car games always look pretty. Like you know, even when I saw Gran Turismo Five, was it Gran Turismo Four on the PS uh, Two? That looked amazing to me back then. I'm, I haven't seen it since. I'm pretty sure I'll change. You know, it, it hasn't. I'm sure. I'm sure. I'm sure it's held up. But cars, I think, are kind of the easiest thing to do. Um, but the games were pretty. Um, and you know, I think a lot of the games were stylistic. There was a lot of um style in their games they had a lot of character just by looking at them so i, I kind of i kind of like that um what were your takeaway from some of the stuff that you saw um it was much better than the xbox one um they had a lot of games i mean if you wanted to see games they showed you games um they showed they revealed the let's talk about i guess let's start with the look of the console and then we'll just go for okay it. yo yes they, so they announced two they consoles found... they announced a discless mm -hmm. version uh which i'm assume is going to be cheaper and they announced a uh a, you know the regular version i guess with a disc uh drive mm -hmm. so uh yeah that's it's white and black looks like a mm -hmm. reverse oreo um <laughs> i'm not a big fan of the design mm -hmm. i i think it's i think it's sleek and does like kind of look like a future device but like in comparison to the ps4 I, I, like, I don't know it doesn't look as uh well i like the original ps4's design a lot like i liked it better than the it, ps3 i think it's pretty close to the you know ps2 is a pretty cool design i think the ps2 and 4 i think are good. Mm -hmm. this one i'm not it's not i, I mean, think it's it, i think it's better than the refrigerator looking xbox thing but i think it's um i don't know it, it, it does like scream like i'm from the future this is, you know, 
now we're the future which is i guess cool it's not the worst but it almost looks like the yeah. discless the disc one the discless one i think looks mm-hmm. better I, I don't that disc yeah. tray on the side looks like like almost like they kind added it in at the last second mm-hmm. <laughs> you know it looks uh but anyway yeah so uh i i i will say this um you're right about kind of design when i first saw it you know because i was waiting for it it didn't wow me but i think um i kind of see what they're going for like they're you know it's more sleek and more round um so i think it's a good contrast between the ps4 and the ps5 um you know and this uh, console coming up um i do like that it's two different versions because i think this is pretty much where we're gonna start splitting you know um they need their cares cheap, at this point they need a cheaper skew mm-hmm. they need a cheaper offering but, Cheap, but, cheaper skew but also too a way to kind of like uh massage people uh because their customers into knowing that okay this list games are coming soon like you know all you know um digital games is coming soon so it's maybe depending on how this how well it sells or which skew sells more i think they're gonna they're probably going to uh use this as an indicator of the next console on how they go forward because I mean, they may maybe less. I mean, I think it makes sense. It's maybe the last generation to use discs because, especially with this pandemic going on, I feel like a lot more people were introduced to downloading games more than usual. And I think this going going forward, this may influence um, console designs. I, I think maybe, maybe, but like maybe like PS Six, maybe because you know who knows what technology will be around six seven years from now that make mm-hmm. make that make sense um but i still think you do have that group of people that are you know they want a disc <laughs> you know no, I, th- I don't sure, think definitely. that's gonna go anywhere and i feel like i, I feel like i'm one of those people <laughs> yeah and i feel like you know they it's, it's it's a it's a good idea to have just both options i don't like is it really that hard to have both options and the thing going forward but anyway the, yeah they got both options um, mm-hmm. The design is, you know, did you did you get that feel of it was very um, Apple, <laughs> like the the reveal um, of it? They it was I, so Apple esque. Like they revealed that, mm-hmm. like we I was watching it with some people and we all said, like it gave us like they were trying like it almost like how Apple announces a new um, phone or something. Mm-hmm. They show that close up. They don't they don't really reveal it until the end. They pull back mm-hmm. and then there it is. And then. And, and then they went to like all the accessories and then the, the theme music the you know it was so like <laughs> apple like i said you know and and, and i get hey. that apple kind of has that that you know they're all about the aesthetics mostly i feel mm-hmm. like more than necessarily what the things well they, you know they care about what they can do but you buy an apple I mean, product hey. that you 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 can you see someone you know they have an apple product like right away like they they, they have a very distinct look and i think I, I, Go ahead. I, I was gonna say, and I think this console has a very distinct look to it. So, you know. Yeah, I was gonna add that uh, the way they, like as you mentioned, the way they kind of like uh, mimicked Apple in a way is not a bad, such a bad decision. No, because I think taking the page out of the book will probably work out in their favor. No, I, th- I think it was and, uh, cool the way it was done. I just when I saw it, I said, "Oh, what, mm. what is that?" <laughs> What, the, did, what do you think of the controller? Like the features they showed of the controller, did, did it impress you even more, or was it? Do you feel like it was the standard stuff? Or the things I don't that they know, showed. Like what else can? What 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 did it? What is? What could it do? I thought they did. I think they had like haptic feedback. Um, like yeah. the uh, what is it? Not, what is that? Else, um, Fancy rumble. Don't for, has a USB. Hey. What happened? USB port. Has a USB port. For what? I had to see USB. It was funny they they, they showed it as one of the features, but it was, I guess they have to show it to kind of so that people know what type of USB it takes. Oh. But I thought it was kind of funny. I mean, it's um, a controller. Like I don't. The controllers have never been a thing. Where mm-hmm. okay, well, I mean, the Xbox 360 controller was great for that because it was great for like all the FPS games and those. Like, it was mm-hmm. just well designed. But the PS4 controller kind of was great too. It was mm-hmm. much better than the PS3, and then. I feel like since then it's like I don't like you know a controller whatever I don't like need my controller to do anything other than let me control my games <laughs> like mm-hmm. I don't you know the touchpad I don't like that I, like I hate when they integrate that into games like I feel like it's just forced. depends on how I do it I feel like it's always forced. Uh, they, I feel like it's a, it's, yeah. just, it's like it's like I don't it's it's not a mouse 
but it's trying to mimic what a mouse does <laughs> or something half the time. So I'd rather just not have it at all or like, cause sometimes mm-hmm. they'd be like, Oh, you, you know, press this. Like if it brings up a menu, I don't care. Like press it down, mm-hmm. brings up a menu. Then it's just a big start button. But if I have to like touch a certain side of it or something, my thumb has to get off of wherever it's on to like go over there. Like, I don't, mm-hmm. I don't like that. Like I, I don't, I feel like it's, I feel like it's kind of like, like, I don't know. I just, it's not, I'm just not a fan of it, but, um, mm-hmm. But I was I will I will say though I still love the look of it of the controller. I, think I like the, the look, look of the is, controller. Um, it's amazing. I still um, wish it was like one solid color, but I do like. But I think the problem you have a black one. I think the reason why they only came out with the white one was kind of maybe to different differentiate for themselves from Xbox since they came out with like a black controller first. So I think maybe it was kind of that people see the contrast of it because I feel like if they released it with released it with a, a black controller, maybe some people who aren't really into gaming or um, don't look at it that much. May confuse it for the same thing. My. So I think it's kind of good that they had a contrasting color, so that you know that the PS5 controller was white and the Xbox controller was black. I guess. So sticking one of the things about the controller that I always find kind of weird is just that mm-hmm. I always I thought like Xbox, and I guess they don't want to rip it off. I guess they got to keep kind of their Dual Shockish kind of mm-hmm. design. But What's I always felt sense? like I always felt like that. Um, Oh, dual sense. This is what it's called. I'm sorry. Um, I felt like the analog stick at the top left and the directional pad under it was always like a better thing. I feel like the the, an, the, the most games use the left analog stick, right? Like to move around mm-hmm. and stuff. And I always feel like oh, that yeah. should be located where the directional buttons are. I just feel like, you know, like an, like Xbox did. I just feel like that's yeah. Just, I, I think that's just a better design in terms of because we are used to like when you talk about the old PlayStation games and all mm-hmm. systems that one part of the control that does the most action is always to the left, upper left. Mm-hmm. Now, but now it's like down to the, you know, it's in that middle weird area. It's not, you know, I'm sure it probably feels fine, and it's just like a nitpick. But you know, let's let's move on to the games though, because that's what's the meat. I think all right let's really let's go cool. we'll go i like to go in order of ga- in order of games because i have a list order? of them okay yeah because some of them you can talk about some of them you know there's not much to talk about but you know you can i, I mean a, for I example have a, I, have a list. I have a list here it's just not in order but whatever well right. I, i'll say this I, I did like to kind of start off with what they showed first grand theft auto 5 i think it's great marketing to give people a million dollars i don't know it, i don't know the frequency but they're giving members a uh, million dollars each month That's until cool. the release of a PS5. So I thought that was a, a pretty cool, uh, cool idea and a great marketing tool to get people hyped, especially that base for Grand Theft Auto, because you know these people, you know, they will be on it when Grand Theft Auto 6 is released. Does that count for people that have the game on PS3? <laughs> uh, uh, I doubt it. <laughs> I think they're pretty much um, asked out. <laughs> yeah, just, just a reminder, that game came out on PS3. <laughs> Um, I know it's immensely that popular. Had it, I have it for Xbox 360. <laughs> yeah, I know it's immensely popular. I actually never played it. I own it, but I have not played it. Mm-hmm. Um, so, yeah, I guess that's a great way to start it. I think it would have been a little more stronger if they even teased mm-hmm. the next Grand Theft Auto, but they didn't do that. Oh, yeah, definitely. But I, I think they I think they need to pace themselves because they showed a lot. So maybe they're just saving that. Yeah, but why not? I, 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 I'm willing to bet they're going to have exclusive rights for the next P. Um, GTA. I doubt it. I'm, I mean, not, no, not exclusive, like, um, time exclusive. It'll probably be a time exclusive. Nah, I don't exclusive. even think that. Rockstar, don't, you don't, I don't think, think so? No. They didn't do it with Red Dead. I don't see why they will. Why would they do it with the big... I mean, Red, I mean, Red Theft Auto is... Yeah, but they're big uh, selling games. It doesn't matter if one sells more. Just think about how big... Red Dead's a big game. Like, that's a, that was mm-hmm. one of their marquee games. Grand Theft Auto is a marquee game. Why would they limit... They, they like, they're not, like, they're Rockstar. They mm-hmm. they print money with these games. They would be stupid to limit. Like the only exclusive. I mean, who's the, like, exclusive? But that's because PC development is. A they didn't. They didn't. Um, Call of Duty have any exclusive? Oh, they no, sorry, DLC. I was gonna say they didn't Call it's of Duty have any exclusive. It's just DLC. It's not. They're not. DLC. Yeah. They're yeah. Not, well, they they had one month exclusive for the Modern Warfare campaign. But you know what? That that makes uh that makes a hell of a difference. I know. If people want to play it. But that's not. I don't know. It depends. I think it depends on how much Sony's willing to spend. 
They can't spend more really... than they can't spend more than they would make <laughs> on Xbox. I don't think. Like, think about it. I mean, think about you think create about that install base. Though, if you create that install base already, you're gonna you're gonna profit off that for the rest of the generation. Yeah, but you, I don't think that makes sense. I, the, 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 like that's like you see like a lot of big games like mm-hmm. that like they could do every like a lot of games could do that. I do not see Grand Theft Auto being one of those. I just don't. I I think yeah, since. We'll see. Since uh, I almost will put money on it, that that's not gonna happen. That's like a timed exclusive. Uh, no. yeah, they'll do. Like they'll do that with fun. some. I, they'll do that with like. I feel like they'll do that with a different type of game, but not. They're not gonna do that with Grand. Grand Theft Auto is like one of those games that that does that will not happen to. It's it's along with like a Call of Duty or something I, that. I, I think if Sony's willing to pay for like at least a month. Of a time exclusive, like they get they'll a have month exclusive earlier. DLC or something. Like, they, I don't think they'll have exclusive a month. Like, and how much would they have to pay for that one month? That's that wouldn't. I have I have no idea, but I th- I it, think it would be worth it. If it's it. not a year, it doesn't make sense to me. If it's not mm-hmm. a year, it would, like a month, don't make no sense. To me. Like, I mean, I, if people when people want to play that game, they yeah, want to play that game. Especially yeah, if, it's, if it's creating buzz. People will probably buy a PS5. If they don't have one, they'll probably buy a PS5. That's the they game. would if it was, but I don't think that, like, they. I don't think they're going to do that. I just don't. There's nothing, nothing to me stands out as that. This is not, like, this is not back in the day when games are cheap to make, too. Like, they cost so mm-hmm. much to make that I don't think that, like, having an, like a franchise like that be exclusive. Like if it's mm-hmm. a, if it was exclusive already, then yeah, I mean, then you still make your exclusives. But this has been a gigantic franchise. It's, it's even larger, like with, especially with PC mods and stuff that take off. To to have it like that, I don't know. I just don't see it. So let's let's move right. on. Now. Fair enough. Um, Spider Man Miles Morales. Your thought? Um, I didn't play the PS4 one, so that's gonna be a recurring theme. I haven't played a lot of the previous mm-hmm. versions of these games. <laughs> So, um, I think that was a very, very powerful, strong way to start the uh, trailer. I think people love, I think people love Spider-Man and I'm pretty sure people love Miles Morales as Spider-Man. Um, I don't, you know, it, <laughs> I don't know, it, 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 like, it feels like, I feel, felt like this is, this had to be coming, right? When they were talking about Spider-Man as one of the first PS5 demos of how fast mm-hmm. it loads the city. So I figured like there was gonna be some maybe it was gonna be either a remaster of the PS4 one or something, but the fact that's Miles Morales. Uh, I I almost feel like since how quick this game is coming out, I feel like it's probably just an ex like almost an expansion esque. Or like a um, what do you call it? enhanced version yeah. of Spider Man? Well, I feel like, like Miles Morales DLC. <laughs> I feel like it'll be like a whole new story and all that jazz, but I don't feel like it's gonna do something drastically different than the, the other one did if it does then call me surprised but i think that in terms of like coming out swinging that, that that was the good trailer like that that instantly told me i was like oh they this is already better than anything i've seen on the xbox so i, I would say this when they um showed uh showed that uh spider-man miles morales trailer i was really impressed um i have spider-man for ps4 i haven't played it yet and that's the that's another reoccurring theme. I have so many games that I just yeah, haven't played yet, so. but I will do. And I still have that Spider Man list that I have to complete. I just feel like. But um. Uh, wait, hold on. Oh, go ahead. I was just gonna say that um, I did think it was very powerful to have Miles Morales, especially with everything going on. I think that was kind of like a good stand for Sony to kind of say like, hey, you know, we have um, you know, what they would say, people of color. Nope. Or I'm not know, going uh, there. I'm not going. I, there. I, I, we're, not, we're not going there, but I'm saying just in terms of current events, I think not, I think it's also a good idea. Nah, just um, think because this, was, this was, game was way made way before that shit was oh, happening, so I'm not gonna give but them I'm credit. Just saying, it, it works, I'm it not works giving them credit favorite. for throwing that out there. No way. Nope. It, still, it still it still works in their favor in terms of marketing. If you look at it marketing wise, it's still going to work in their favor. Well, I hope it does. I think that's uh, very powerful. That's pan- and on top of that, I feel like that's pandering. I, if if that's the if that's the reason that's why pandering. they put that <laughs> if that's the reason why they put that out first like that like I don't know. I didn't even think about that till you said that, and I don't even want to think about it like that. I just feel like <laughs> we don't like oh god oh yeah for the, for the black people yeah we got we got brown spider man yeah, yeah, yeah we need we, 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 we need we need everything we can get from all these companies I think, 
and I think Sony is uh, smart for working like that. You know, I think it's smart that they did that. I don't think you know, they did it, that for that reason. I think it worked out in their favor. That's, I guess it does. Yeah, because if, if, if you see it like that, mm-hmm. then I guess other people will. So congrats to them. And, <laughs> and then um, I also feel like, you know, like you said, um, since it won't be like a total re- revamped game as far as I, I can see, because I'm pretty sure they, they already built a, a huge New York already for Spider-Man. So, you know, maybe some new locales and everything and maybe up the graphics for um, the machine. And I think, you know, the game is right there, you know, is right there. You know what I mean? So um, they showed some cool, I guess, uh, moves and everything. But, you know, that's part for the course, you know, adding uh, character specific uh, powers and whatnot. But um, it looks cool. Um, I, I definitely feel it's going to be it's going to it's going to be uh, one of their best selling games, probably straight out because it's, you know, uh, sandbox spider-man and you know it's probably gonna have a very interesting atmosphere so uh good on you insomnia games uh let's go down well we spoke about this a little briefly uh next game is uh grand turismo 7 um you have anything to say about it looks nice um if you like grand turismo i have a friend that loves grand turismo and so he was he was super stoked upon seeing it um he Big Gran Turismo fan. He didn't like six so much, so you know maybe. What, this what was he excited about when he saw this? Um, just a new Gran Turismo game. They don't come out like all that often. Like you go, you had a lot of Gran Turismos early on. Like you had between PS1 and PS2, you had four of them, and then PS3 they had five, and then PS4 they had six. So mm-hmm. you know it's one to play every generation. It's just a new, you know, it's like getting, you know. People see a new sports game. It's just, you know, just it's yeah. just another game. It's like to get hyped around seeing Marvel Spider-Man is the same thing. You know, you can look at it the same way. It's a, it's still Spider-Man. You know what you're going to be doing in the game, but you got hyped. Yeah, I think that's a little bit different, though, because, you know, there's going to be a no, different you, type of story. No, you see, you're just... Gameplay element. Yeah, but you're just... No, but, but the racing... I talk about a racing game and an action game. Um, I think there's those two different things. No, but you're the way you look at it. You're you're hyped because you like action games, and so people that like racing games are gonna be hyped the same way. It's not. It's like people that see sports reveals are gonna be hyped. Like you might not understand why, because in your mind that game doesn't appeal to you because it's racing and it looks the same. And they could look at your action games and say, you know, oh, Spider Man 2000. Yeah, okay, it's prettier now, but you're still swinging around and fighting bad guys in a free roaming city. So like. Well, all- all I can say is that I'm not knocking racing games. I'm just saying in terms of trailers, I just you know because, yeah, just don't appeal to that's me. Because you right, exactly. They don't appeal to you because you don't play them, right? You don't like. I'm not saying there's nothing wrong mm-hmm. with that, but like, we you know, I would just be neutral about it. It's, it's, it's Gran Turismo Seven, you know, whatever. So, <laughs> all right, that's it. That's all. I saw. I saw my piece about it. Uh, <laughs> uh, next game, Ratchet and Clank Rift Apart. What do you um, think of it? It looks good. It looks, um, you know, that 3D uh, kind of jumping around game that you get. It yeah, looks platform good. game. I just feel that like I just feel like even looking at a lot of these, I was like, they like they, they brought the names. They brought the big names, which is like a big thing. Um, but a lot of mm-hmm. times I'm looking at all these games, except for a few, and I'm looking at them like they have like a lot more sparkly particles and stuff falling around. But a mm-hmm. lot of these, I'm still like, uh, you know, they, they could be on PS4. I mean, you know, you know how I feel like they don't, I, you know, looking at one of the big things was like frame rate. These are early alpha builds, so the frame rate will mm-hmm. probably improve. But like so far, I was like, you know, these, you know, but the game itself, uh, Ratchet and Clank is super popular, right? Is it? Mm-hmm. I had a movie. I, I think it, uh, it did, I, don't, I don't think the movie did what's, that great. What's the last? And I think they had a game. What's the they last? had a game on a PS4. Four, but I don't think it did, it did that hot either. Um, from what what's I the last Ratchet and Clank game you've played? Have you played any? Uh, the last one I played was, I believe, uh, PS2. Uh, what is it? Ratchet and Clank. Um, I played the first one. Up your Arsenal? Is that, yeah, is that Up Your Arsenal? No, yeah, it was the last one I played. The, okay, the first one I know was Ratchet and Clank. <laughs> and then uh, I know they came out with like no, Up Your Arsenal and more uh, after that. But... No, no, wait, wait, no. No, not up your arsenal. Up your arsenal was the second one. I played the third one. No, uh, the third uh, one was up your arsenal. I think was the third one. I think okay, that's one I played. Commando was the second one. 
Go Commando, yes, Go Commando. Yeah. And then they had another one, um, Time Crack. Was it a booty? No, a crack it was in, some kind of a crack um, in time. Crack was in like time. PS, that was PS3 though. A crack in time. PS3, maybe yeah, that was PS3. PS3. Yeah, and then they had like three on PS. They had like all for and one. Then have, they, I think they just, oh yeah, all for one. And then they just had Ratchet and Clank. I think they did just go back to the time. Yeah, and they Clank just for... did Ratchet and Clank for PS4. Um, mm-hmm. Yeah, so new Ratchet and Clank. It looks good. It looks cool. It looks, you know, I just mm-hmm. like. I don't. I haven't played Mario, and I really want to play that. <laughs> so mm-hmm. I don't know. That just made me want to play Mario. So I don't know. But Ratchet and Clank, yeah. yeah. Um, I like, I love the way I, I like that they're trying to some new gameplay elements with the, like the whole rift kind of thing, like you know. Yeah, um, I think that's part I, of what they could do on this system that they can't do in previous systems. Mm-hmm. They talk about like loading time. So like that's like I think what this this generation will start to offer is that like kind of ways you can play games in worlds that you can't you couldn't do before because of loading times and stuff like that Mm -hmm. so that was the first time i looked at something and i said okay you know that looks the ideas there are cool i saw a lot of games kind of doing somebody throwing something and warping there (laughs) Mm -hmm. i feel like i saw a few games in this this thing that that. that. and i guess that's because of loading times you can do tricky you can do tricky cool things like that but uh, let's let's uh yeah I don't, I don't know too much about Ratchet and Clank to really talk about it. It looked good though. It, it looks good. It has, I like that they had a little bit of finger. It, you know, it with, has uh, uh, ray tracing. <laughs> there was ray tracing. Yeah, that's the big word. That's the, the new thing. The, this shiny, the shininess on Clank's head is all uh, ray tracing. Mm-hmm. Next gen. Yeah, he did look very good. I, I did notice that when I first uh, saw the trailer, he looked uh, really good. Yeah. Um, but yeah, that game looks great. And you know they always have, have great weapons. Ray tracing. Uh, I think we lost you. This um, fun oh, weapons um, in the series. We lost you for Super a second, time. but you're back. And, uh, game. Oh, yes, I'm still here. Okay. Uh, Project Athea. Uh, that was real quick. So it was. It looked pretty it was Square Enix. Um, I don't know what division. I don't it, it, they said the studio was... I think they're using that the Crystal Engine, whatever that is. That's that's mm-hmm. what they use to make like Final Fantasy VII, I think, or whatever. Mm-hmm. Um, looked cool. Uh, you know, looked uh, pretty. Couldn't really tell, but you know, any new franchise, you, you know, you wait to see how it comes out and more from it. So, but it looked interesting. I like their. Hey, and you know the the one of the things I want to say overall about the presentation was it was definitely more. I don't even say hardcore, but it was definitely more Japanese. Uh, I think focus in terms of game game in terms like there weren't so many first person shooters or first person type games you know what I mean that like I feel like Xbox would push more I feel like there was a lot more um, about how this uh, presentation seemed to focus more on uh, Japanese kind of like gameplay styles like mm-hmm. it wasn't so first person shooter oriented or you know what i mean i felt like it was definitely sony more you know how sony's a japanese it was it didn't feel like microsoft where where mm-hmm. it, that felt like first person kind of game that was the first game they showed right and microsoft yeah. the yeah, first person I, game. I, I think that was a kind of a not a bad choice but i just felt so like typical you know what i mean like, well, that's, I, don't feel like... I felt like that's what you get from i feel like you're getting you know what to get from xbox and PlayStation, which I am more, I'm, I'm more fond of. Even though I love mm-hmm. first-person games, I am more fond of 3D games, 3D action games, and you got a lot of that here. Like, because yeah. that's what that last game, that Square Enix game, mm-hmm. like that's what kind of made me think. And, like, there was a lot of that kind of games, you know. And, um, and you know what's interesting about this presentation compared to Xbox, even though we're just only about four games down the list, or five games down the list, um, you already have these exclusives that are impactful, you know, and I feel like. Yeah, the, the it, Xbox, it, you don't really see anything that you know would now, make you want to buy the system. Now, literally, I I said yeah. I felt like when I watched this, I said if I was going to buy a console next generation, it's first, mm-hmm. it's going to easily be for multiple reasons, but it's easily going to be a PlayStation. I just saw so mm-hmm. much. Now, granted, Xbox showed games that weren't first party. And mm-hmm. I think that, you know, now whether that's, 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 maybe they should have, I think they should have, because now people are definitely going to compare the two, uh, you know, and I, I think Xbox, if they're smart, they're going to look at this and say, okay, now we got to bring our heavy hitters, you know, because mm-hmm. they're going to have to clap back. They're going to have to show first party Microsoft games. 
They're gonna have to show Halo. They're gonna have to show that. Maybe, maybe they're maybe they're doing that. Maybe at the if I realize they're, that Sony might have the exclusive, then they might have to have like another event or something. Well, they realized. No, they even said during the I think the other one or somebody, it was known that there were no first party games there during mm-hmm. the Microsoft thing. So I think like now that Sony has kind of showed their hand and their hand is very strong. I think now Xbox can at least respond, and they're gonna have to respond because this was really good, and this does not look good. You know, you can tout about the Xbox supposedly being slightly more powerful, but like up against these games mm-hmm. right now, and it's so many games to announce too. I mean, I know they're not gonna all be at launch, but they, this still looks like you have something to look forward to. You have every Definitely. every kind of genre except for like my favorite, which would be like a classic RPG, I guess. But mm-hmm. those are probably dead anyway but um that's good yeah, all right next game next um game. stray um i would say that game even though there wasn't much to it it was just mostly a video but i did find it interesting and i liked how they created a world of like these robots uh and then you had that one cat and i thought it was kind of cool oh that's so what that I like you, Cause I'm thinking yeah, like, so I guess you're, mm-hmm. yeah i was thinking like what game is he i said I, I can't remember that game, but now I remember. It's the one with the robot yeah, they faces, have the right? Face, yeah, I thought that was pretty cool. It was kind of like a nice little world, and I think you play a straight cat. I'm like, okay, this... I'd like to, you know, read more about this game. I want to know how it's going to play or what it's going to be. So it looks, you know, like a nice little game uh, to play. For me, no gameplay. I don't know what the hell it is, so... Yeah. <laughs> Let's go to the next right, game. And, and the next game is uh, Retor- Returnal. Um, I don't know if I missed this when I saw it. Um, oh, so this... Yeah. Uh, did you watch it? This, well, I, I think so. Was this the one, the space one? I'm trying to remember. Yeah, it was with I, the lady. I, it almost looks like. Oh, that, that looks good. Like, I, I think it looks interesting. Yeah, it did look Mass interesting. Effect almost, right? <laughs> yeah, or like Metroid ish. Metroid. You know, solo hey, you know, with a more you know mind, like? you know, more mental, cerebral kind of thing going mm-hmm. on. But it was a. She, it felt very alone and exploring mm-hmm. and then maybe losing your sanity. I don't like how she has heterochromia, though. I hate that she has one eye, one color, and one eye. I maybe just maybe there's a reason why. Ah, I, I know, I know. It just drives me crazy. <laughs> but go ahead. But, um, I, but I did like um, that you're playing, like, um, it was interesting to see that you're playing an older woman, you know, because a lot of times in games you don't really play that. Play that. So it's fascinating that it kind of shows that, um, you know, as a character design. I actually um, didn't even realize she was older. I just thought she was just a woman. <laughs> I didn't. Yeah. I didn't realize I, it, she was mm-hmm. actually older, but um, mm-hmm. it. I think it did. It looks interesting. You know, it's, it's yeah. definitely it looks good. I, I like the look of it. The graphics are great. Yeah. I think the graphics are excellent. I think. I mean, I don't know. I I saw. I didn't watch in like 4K or anything the like that. And I know they, they looked all right. And I know they compressed the the, the screen for like 1080. But um, I think it'll probably look good if you see it in real life. So that would be pretty cool. Yeah. Um. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I feel like. Yeah. It was nice. Yeah. <laughs> it was one of the more so, interesting new franchises announced. So I'll say that was it. Was that exclusive? Or I know there's one. There's one game that said um, designed exclusively. For that Square was that was the, the that was the so, SquareSoft game, the Square Enix game. That said, okay, that, said I, that was built for designed. Exclusively. So that, that's, that's very tricky wording because it's like it'd be built for PS5. Yeah, it says, but, it says designed know. exclusively for PlayStation. Yeah, I'm like, all right, come on. <laughs> <laughs> so it sells like, I guess people don't notice it. It might, like, oh, yeah, it's might, it might sell like crazy, and they're like, oh, we might as well just port this over and get some money. Exactly. But okay. Uh, next game is Sackboy: A Big Adventure. Your thoughts? Um, I didn't. <laughs> another running theme. I haven't played a lot of uh, Big Little Big Planet, but I'm kind of, <laughs> you know, it's not called Little Big Planet Four, right? It's it's called Sackboy <laughs> Adventure. So is it? Is it going to be just a, a 3D game or will it be, um, you know, like another big planet, a little big planet? Like, you know, but it looked, cool, you know, it looked cool. Like, mm. it looked good. Look fine. I played Little Big Planet 1 a lot back in the day um, when it came out on PS3. Um, the only thing I, I love playing the game, the only thing I never really did was like build it because I don't think when it comes to like building these levels, they're kind of. For me, they're uh, daunting in a way, yeah. and I feel like a, a person with a certain some people um, buy creative just mind, build. yeah, yeah, people with creative minds and who really can break down like levels and make interesting things. I think, you know, it was got to them before um, Super Mario um, Brother uh, Super Mario Maker came out, um, mm-hmm. and it was really, really cool. Um, I don't know if it didn't seem like they showed any um, construction or building, so that maybe I think 
looking at the name. It probably doesn't probably have any building, right? It's probably yeah. just. And I think it's probably a good idea. I think you know, Sack Boy is a popular character. I, I think the game sold pretty well. Um, I, or they, they did it okay, but I think he I, was a pretty cool character that um, resonated with a lot of people. I, I kind of feel like they. This was like, I guess it's being an adult. I'm like, oh mm-hmm. man, you know, they they had a good range of games that kids would get into. I don't remember mm-hmm. that from the Xbox presentation, but I remember like this one. There was a lot of games that like, yeah, hey, kids would like this. Oh yeah, I think almost it was split in half. I mean, they kind of really hit a good range of like different mm-hmm. type of games for different audiences. Mm-hmm. Um, so, and that's smart. Yeah. So next uh, game. So that was- <laughs> Oh, Destruction All Stars! Uh, I actually like that trailer a lot. It it looks really really fun. It's like a um, car combat game that's uh, kind of like you know has a lot of different like uh, futuristic elements with uh, the weapons. And um, I believe you can come out your car if I remember correctly. If I saw the I've seen the trailer correctly, mm-hmm. but it looked really fun. I think it's something that I would probably look into. Um, um, yeah. Mm-hmm. Um. I at first I looked. I was like, "What is this F Zero?" And then I. Uh, I was like, oh, no, wait. Switch and Metal? Oh, no, wait. It's not any of those. So it looked like kind of like a battle. I don't know. Not a battle royale, but it looked like, you know, a big arena style yeah, game. Like, kind I, of like almost like... Mm-hmm. I might be asking for too much, but that looks like a game that should be free. And then, like, just make all their money off of... Uh, off of, um, you know, all the... You know, whatever like, costumes like, and stuff yeah. like that. Free to play, I, and I don't. Free to play, and I'm not even trying to insult the game. I just feel like the market for that game, like, not that the, the trailer was cool. I thought the trailer was good mm-hmm. and it looked interesting. You never but know I that might change. But I don't know how deep, like, you mm-hmm. could, like, if, you know, these. I saw rumors that this system could be seventy. Like the games could be sixty to seventy dollars. Like they might be seventy dollars. Mm-hmm. So if that's oh, a new game sure. launching at like seventy dollars. And you have a choice. Nah, it's definitely not a seventy dollars. Right. Game. It, I, okay. I, yeah, that's what I mean. Like, I didn't get a feeling like that's yeah. a full price game. No, no, no. Yeah, yeah. That's definitely not. Oh, uh, heck no. You know, and it looks like I don't know how. It, you know, will they have a story mode or is it just online battles? Which, which, whatever they have is fine. I think it should just focus on making a very good online battle game and not because sometimes, you know, I don't really look for a story from that stuff, so don't waste the resources. But anyway, um, but, but I, I think you brought up a good point with. Um, if it did the free um free to play style kind of like Fortnite, yeah, I think that would and, make um, that game a hit. I that would be a really dope idea, like because you know it's interesting, interestingly, interestingly enough too. Uh, Fortnite was in the same predicament. It was uh, actually supposed to be like an actual game, right? And then later on, they kind of released a battle royale mm. free. Yeah, that part of yeah, it was supposed to be yeah. Uh, build it was it had such a long weird development but yeah mm-hmm. yeah but so i think that you know maybe i have to look at the game again but that would be a probably a good idea because even though fortnite's already coming already to the next gen consoles um if somebody wants to kind of like take a crack at it especially you know a new franchise you know it'd be a great idea oh, i wouldn't take a crack at it i'd just kind of stay on my own thing and do something else because i don't even think you want to get into that arena really why? Why is that? What the the battle royale arena? I think it's I mean, no, not battle, not not battle royale, but oh, I mean battle royale with cars. That would be, hey, interesting. I think they. I think the next big battle royale has to do. You know, whole different discussion, but it it has mm-hmm. to do something. It can't just be battle royale, but with, you know, what I mean, like, like you look at. A I mean, I mean break, what like, I've seen, like the power ups and everything. That, you know, having those cool power ups, that would be really really dope. But they had like you know. There's like room, like a battle royale with magic. There's a battle royale with like old school weapons. There's a battle royale, and none of these take off. Everybody, yeah, because yeah. you know. Um, but let's get to the next game. Uh, next game is Kenna Bridge of Spirits. Um, I don't remember. Oh, okay, no, I saw. No, this. That looks like that looks like a rare game to be. I saw, <laughs> I saw this. Saw and I said, very rare. First, I was like, "Is this oh, Zelda?" Is- I said, "Is this Zelda?" And then I said, "Oh no, it's it's like Pinkman." Oh, oh wait, because mm. you know he controls. Little... It looks cool. Um, you know it's kind of hard to judge a lot of these. You see such these quick trailers, but like it looked interesting. Yeah. It looked like you know I, I don't know if I'll be buying a lot of these games that look good, but because mm-hmm. you know that's a lot of games they showed, but almost maybe too many. But um, uh, it looks it looks cool. You, you, we need to see more, but the gameplay looked fine. Look, you know. Yeah. It, it reminds me of uh, Cameo for Xbox 360. Like, it just has, like I mentioned before, it has that rare feel. Mm. Even, like, the combat with the stick, it re- reminded me of uh, 
Star Fox Adventures. So it, it feels like something Rare would have made uh, back in the day. And even the look of the character, like the kind of like the full anime kind of look. Um, mm. Yeah. So, yeah. And then the next game, uh, Goodbye Volcano High. Yeah, what the fuck was that? We no we looked idea. at that and we were like, it's you know, that as far like what, what can we say other than it's a game? It, I don't. It's a, Is it? I mean, I, I kind of well, you know, I was still kind of working while I was when it was on, so I couldn't really like hear it at that point. But um, uh, it just showed a bunch of it shows like it looks like a cartoon. Yeah, it looks like a high school drama cartoon that you might control you know maybe it's, you know an interactive point and click game i don't i don't know they didn't show any i don't know if they showed gameplay that would be gameplay <laughs> uh, i don't know if that was gameplay you know what's funny there's a there's a, a lot of like story-based games like kind of like gone home um there was a um, another game on xbox called oxen free yeah um yeah. So there's a lot of these there a lot there's a lot of these story games where you just kind of go through the story and kind of make choices along the way so it looks to be from what i can see in the vein of that game so i wouldn't be surprised i feel like there's a market for it for a lot of people who just like to play passive story games and with decisions and things like that so maybe sure it could be something like that sure so. uh, yeah I, I don't i think that trailer leaves you just with questions you have no clue what's going on <laughs> so <laughs> uh next game next game is odd world soul store so this was one of the games i said okay this is like they they know they they they're getting their audience. Uh, it, it, you well, know. you do think there's such a big audience from for our world, even in this day and age. Um, not, maybe know. not a big audience, but it's a name that's highly. I feel like it's highly recognizable, and it's well, it's, it's like a, I think it's revered more than recognizable. No, it's a game that my brother will see, my brother who doesn't play games, and he'll be like, "Oh, new Odd World," and you know what yeah. I mean. Like, I think the the, the old games had such. Uh, they were well liked and well respected. I heard Stranger's mm-hmm. Wrath is really good. It was really good was, when it came out. Actually, that was fun. Right. So I don't think like I think but it's, Stranger's Wrath was a different kind of gameplay though. Like even though it's set in the same universe, yeah, but it had a different you still, character style. It was more of a western. So yeah, I was, but it's still. So I think that helped it a lot. I think kind it's of like, still Odd World, right? I think you hear and they had, they had the. I know they had a remaster on PS4 or something. I don't know how well that did, but I know that. Like, didn't they have one also on the uh, PlayStation um, if, Mini or not uh, PlayStation Classic? Yeah, it was the um, the I think Abe's Exodus was on the PlayStation Classic. Uh, and, so thanks for the for sales. It you know it showed uh, Sony that we got to make this game again. Yeah, along with Tosh- <laughs> Battery and Toshin. Uh, <laughs> Imagine they showed Destruction Derby. <laughs> Destruction Derby. I I'd kill for a new Destruction Derby game. I, wow. I I'd instantly buy just to you know. What, what if they uh, upred? <laughs> Like, oh man, <laughs> Justin was hoping for a twisted metal game. Um, one of my nah, I, I think that franchise is, uh, I don't know. It was the you know, I don't know the, if it, the last one game I like was twisted good metal. too. PS3 twisted Black, metal right? was yeah. really good. No, it was a PS3. It was a oh, it was twisted metal just called twisted yeah, metal. Yeah, right? it was good. Yeah, that one was that yeah, That one was good. That it was, was fun. Good. It was online and stuff. It was awesome. Mm-hmm. But um, yeah, let's let's get to the next. Oh, but I were no, I were looked pretty cool though, right? Like. It it's, yeah, it looks good. I think I think it looks interesting. I think it looked but, like um, it took the old type of odd world gameplay and kind of brought it into the next generation, and you know had all these. You could see like, at least on PS Five, how all the, these Madokins are doing things at the same time, and you have to guide them or whatever. I don't know. So it mm-hmm. looked it looked like that to me is a PlayStation name game, like mm-hmm. Odd World. You hear Odd World, you think PlayStation. I feel like yeah, that's true. That's, that's, I think that was going a good. To the... Good pe- yeah, they're going to their, their fan base with that one. All right, next game is Ghostwire Tokyo. Um, so that game looked pretty cool, according to a lot of people. Like that, like that I was watching it with. Mm-hmm. Um, yeah. it was a first-person kind of spooky action game, like like Avatar. Yeah, but like you could do a lot of cool things. And I don't know. Like, I don't. <laughs> I don't. No, too many good, good first-person games made by Japanese studios. But uh, you know, what I like about Japanese studios sometimes when it when it comes to first-person games, they always try something new. Yeah, uh, you know, they always try like doing something new. I like how he was doing those, uh, making those spells with his hands. I don't know exactly what they're called, but you see them like Naruto and other anime when they're like, yeah, you know, so making the nin- 
Let's hope you don't have mm-hmm. to wave your controller. To do uh, no, I don't think so. Maybe if it came on the Wii, <laughs> yeah. waggle your controller yeah. in a way. Right. Or maybe use the um, what is it called? Uh, if you want to relate it to the PS5, use the um, touchpad to draw. You, you know <laughs> what? Symbol I, I, I want to comment on one thing too about the system. One of the things mm-hmm. I did like that they did is they revealed their like official headset that probably like you have to buy separately or something, I guess. But mm-hmm. they, I like that they have like a unified kind of thing like that. I, I don't know why I just mm-hmm. feel like that. I like I like buying like if I have a PlayStation, even if it's not the best headset, I like to have the PlayStation headset. You know, yeah. and, like, and, I, and I like too that they had a camera that came right. with the system because they're really reading into that streaming world where people like it to comes stream. with the so system. Think, you think? Well, I don't think it comes with the system. You might have to buy it separately. I feel but like it felt like seeing them it. together. It felt like you. It felt like it should come together. But I feel, maybe I, I feel like you'll probably have to buy some of that stuff. Cause... Yeah, I'm sure. Yeah, cause... But um, it's nice that they had their own camera for it. And I'm, it's kind of sad that uh, uh, Xbox One got shit for like um, well, excuse me for um, uh, X uh, having to connect because it, was it connect the camera as well or was it just yeah, it did, body, all, it uh, did all that. Yeah, the connect. Yeah, so but... it was kind of. It's a joke. It's kind of sad. So, like, yeah. Because <laughs> they, they designed it around that. That was their issue. <laughs> yeah, that's true. Mm-hmm. This is probably. And this one comes with, I'm sorry, this one comes with a remote as well. You know, I think they should probably go back to. Too, I bet. Yeah, probably too. But I think they should go back to having like voice commands for your um, system because I think in this, in this day and age, people are kind of more used to it. And it's not so spooky for a lot of people because of, you know, the integration and all technology. Do you use voice commands? The, what, what happened? Do you use voice command? I don't use voice command, but I think now that it's more prevalent in society, because I feel like it was something new for a lot of people, and they're like, oh, no, I don't want Microsoft to watch me while I'm, you know, in my towel or something. I think people were so spooked, but now every, but now with with the popularity of things like Siri, Google Home, um, Alexa, um, Amazon, you know, I think we have kind of like um, gotten used to it. So I think if they try to integrate it into systems, mm-hmm. It might, you know, I don't think people would have such a big deal with it. You know what I mean? I think maybe they were just, I would say that for, I would say they have Microsoft. Maybe they were just too ahead of their time. I mean, I don't know. I feel like voice command. I mean, it's like, you ever tried it on a PS4? I haven't tried it. It works. I mean, it, me works, per- it works pretty good. The thing is that mm-hmm. it's, it's still, I'm still at the point where I guess if I really needed to use it, I could, but I feel like just using a controller is just still always going to be. And I feel like they're not going to push that until they can maybe figure out a way to incorporate it that it actually mm-hmm. is supplemental to using the commercial controller instead of you could do this. Because I bet you'll have, if PS4 has voice command, I'm pretty sure PS5 will probably have it or get it in a firmware update at some point. Mm-hmm. And, oh, they, you know, maybe they can go from there. But sometimes I forget that PS4 can even do that. Like, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> but, I, um, I didn't realize that. Next game. Yeah, try it out. Next, <laughs> next game. Uh, next game, uh, Jet the Far Shore. I don't remember this game. Um, it's made by Super Brothers, and I think that's probably the same company that makes this game called Super Brothers Sword and Sorcery. Um, it looks like an indie game, and it looks like it almost. I got real this kind of No Man's Sky vibe. It wasn't a first person, but it was just like it showed a rocket ship blasting off and maybe looking for like a new land to populate. So it's like traveling on all these like kind of strange worlds. But it was very, it was very mysterious. So I don't blame you for Mm -hmm. missing it and. People I was watching it with kind of just brushed right over it, but the Super Brothers game is supposed to be pretty good, so they, mm-hmm. you know, they make creative, different type of stuff. So, next game. All right, next game, Godfall. Um, yeah, it's just called uh, Godfall. Yeah. Godfall. Somebody knew uh, what this was before it came. Two human two. No, yeah, <laughs> yeah, no. Um, somebody while I was watching knew what this was before they showed it. I've never heard of it, but um, the gameplay of the melee action game Godfall. So. It just looks like uh, it looks like like your three D action game, but you can play with like multiple players. So mm-hmm. it looks like you know, kind of like a Devil May Cry ish, but like you can play with a lot of people. You know, like maybe like a Destiny ish because they talked mm-hmm. about armor and all, getting all these custom cool badass loot. It looked like, but um, I mean, you from can, from what I've seen, it, it didn't seem. It looked cool, but you know, it seemed like one of those games. This game should feel like it should be for free. I don't know. It didn't feel like it was um, like a PS5 game. It felt like almost like a cell phone game in a way. I feel like this oh, is like. Wow. 